lightweight hopeful Mark Chikese. He was 12-0 before running into Drakkar Close back in 2017. Big win over Joe Duffy in 2019. And a lot of people think eventually Chikese is going to find his way into that top 15. As Chikese has tried to make his way into the top 15, he has had to shore up some of the holes in this game. As you saw in the close fight, he had a lot of difficulty clearing the clinch position. Was not able to get back to the center where he can use his striking advantage. This guy is a very well-rounded kickboxer, has a background in Muay Thai, but was not able to use any of that in the fight against Jakar Close, and it showed because he didn't get his hand raised. But when he went back against Joe Duffy, you saw the improvements. You saw how he had identified the weaknesses and started to work on it, and it left him get his hand raised. And I got to think of a video game setting. Pretty fun guy to play with. Mark Chikese ready to go here tonight. practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting the takedown by the way. Our tale of the day for this lightweight championship fight. Now for the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Lightweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Mark Montrachel Casey. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC lightweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. Herb Dean, our third man in the octagon for this one. All right, so here we are, Newark, New Jersey, the Prudential Center. You know, some people call this the armpit of America. I'm having a good time, I don't know. It's a beautiful place in a beautiful arena. And the fans here are ready to explode the moment something exciting happens. Best punch in the game, beautiful jab. Right hook attempt, that's a miss. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, big right hand, yes. Beautiful work on the feet tonight by Lee. Strong straight left there. All right, so we have got a full-on brawl to start this fight. Any concern that these guys might burn themselves out? Oh, they're going to exhaust themselves. So we may as well enjoy it right now, because come the third round, regardless of the weight class, they're going to look like two tired heavyweights in the middle of the octagon. Hands high, hands high. Nice defense to block that punch. Man, not sure if there was a gentleman's agreement for that. They are getting after it, but oh, he lands the flying knee. Hands up. What a beautiful leg kick that landed there. Take 
Jacasey gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. The right hand just misses. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, and he caught the kick. High volume on both sides in both of these. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Oh! Oh, he's on wobbly legs now. Oh, nice body shot. Oh, looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. Just over two minutes to go. And that one certainly found the target. He's got to start moving his head. He cannot take this many shots to the head. Uppercut counter by Jacasey. He gets to the single counter type. Look for him to drive and move his opponent to find openings to land that free hand. Some nice back and forth action here. Get up to your feet. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. He does a great job. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Right hand, yes. Under a minute to go in the round. Nice hook lands. Fast leg kick lands. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. 15 seconds remain in the round. level highlights from that last round DC take us through the replay if he fought like this I would be comfortable entering him into a K1 level right kickboxing competition he's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will he needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on you ready fight you ready Let's second round underway all right, so here we go with our next round, and there was a lot for him to like defensively in the previous round, almost as if he's one or two steps ahead of his opponent in terms of seeing the strike before it came his way. He did a great job of moving his head as his opponent was attacking, but then when his opponent tried to string combinations together, it was his block defense that was really saving the day for him. Oh, how good was that combo? He is really doing a nice job stringing his shots together now. Looking to stop. He's in a lot of trouble now. Oh. Looking to land the right just out of range. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Relax, relax. 
This pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater, punches and bunches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list this performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. Fighter blocks a punch. Strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Big right hand there. Now a knee. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. Big shot lands for both guys. Under three minutes here to go in the round. Man, that is loud. Another strike lands for the kickboxer. He really found that flow state pretty early in this fight, and he hasn't looked back. He found it really early. And when this guy gets into his groove, he is hell on wheels. And right now he is showing why he is such a high-level, high-regarded kickboxer. He is outclassing this guy. Punch got blocked there. Is stunned trying to recover here. Oh, with authority, the body. Good. Keep the pressure on him. Good. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Jacasey goes for the takedown. He misses. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Under two minutes now to go. Pretty nice lead right there by Jacase. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yeah. Well, you gotta think he's gonna enjoy watching this one back tomorrow morning. He has landed a ton of significant strikes and Really, a guy who has been a monster in the gym finally putting it together here in the octagon. He's hurting bad here. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Well, Ryan Fighter continues to pressure the kickboxer and landed a really nice hook in that exchange. You can tell every time he wants to really put some damage on his opponent because he goes for the hook. It's his best punch. And he lands it once again. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. And now a head kick to boot. There's the jab. Now another for good measure. Nice job there by Lee. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good one. He's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Oh, my goodness. Thirty seconds to go in round two. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Oh, he has to evade Stan's space. His nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cutman will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. Well, his nose is just mangled. The cut appears to be the big issue. Let's get you some replays from that previous round. I mean, he's getting hammered. He's going back to the well over and over again. And why would he not? His opponent wasn't good on the defense. His opponent allowed for him to land too clean. And now, he's just targeting that cut on the nose. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully, the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Jacasey's shot is blocked.
Straight right hand now, just misses. I mean, you land one, I land one. What a start. Well, as we pull up the numbers there, bottom of your screen, the body strikes really tell the story in this one. That was a big focus for his camp coming in, and he has certainly worked that midsection to great effect here tonight. Well, new round, same narrative. He continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous frame. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Good jab there by the champion. Oh, nice jab. Block that punch. He's cut. Get the, elbow. the fighters on point tonight lands a beautiful kick. Jacasey's blocking well now. Nice job to protect that already damaged nose as he raises the guard. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. Three minutes now to go in this one. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming. And when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid those shots. How good is this? Back and forth we go. Going to the leg kick now, and it's there. Nice job by Lee. Wow, he lands another leg kick. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Oh, great Man has his chin been tested early. Ninety seconds to go. All right, seems like he's hurt so bad. He's got to find safety, find a way that you can recover. He continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Nice straight punch. All right, less than a minute here to go now in round three. Rips the body there for good measure. So the commitment to the takedown pays off. After several failed attempts, he finally gets his first takedown. Now let's see what he can do with it. Always offensive. Lands a shot from the bottom. All right, full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off, move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities for advancement, but if you're on the bottom, you've got to anticipate those movements the moment he tries to move to the next position. You build a shield, get back to your feet. Oh, big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship round. All right, let us get you some replays now from that previous round, DC, and certainly you gotta think some body kicks are gonna find their way into this highlight. Yeah, he's throwing these body kicks, and he's throwing them with all of his force. He is driving his shin into the rib of his opponent. If his opponent does not block these, 
If he does not catch these kicks, his night is going to end very soon. Ready to fight. Ready. All right, here is round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rounds? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within reach now. 15 minutes down, 10 to go. You tell yourself you can do anything for 10 minutes. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed the whole picture-perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is gonna be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Very fast leg kick lands for him. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. Jacase, he's been dealing with that cut on his nose for a while, and now it is just pouring blood. Oh! He's hurt bad. Just misses there with the left. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on and whether or not he's reaching for it, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. We gotta start to watch his reactions now as we go forward. Checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad in his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, there it is. That's that one. That right hand. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Lee's eye is starting to swell shut. Oh, beautifully timed with that head kick. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook a little bit. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that finish. Well, these fighters did not come to play defense tonight. Back and forth we go. Well, as soon as he goes with that high guard, he pays for it to the body. You see the bruise. Oh, how about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble chair. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. That strike blocked by Jacase. Just over two minutes now to go. What a fight, what a display of physical and mental toughness on both sides. I'm not sure who's more injured, but they're both hurt for the show. Yeah, John, they're both beat up, but I think that is the key. The mental is what's gonna allow you to get your hand raised in this fight. This will not be easy. You're gonna have to go to some dark places whenever you're in front of a guy that is as good as you in every aspect of fighting. Beautifully placed there by Lee. Well, he is clearly faded in this one, and I'm not talking about the high and tight skin fade on my man Daniel Cormier. He got stunned earlier in the round, and, and mentally I feel like he checked out a little bit. He hasn't been able to build back and fight the way that we're used to seeing him fight. He needs to take a breath, take a moment, and get back to work. Beautiful job. Oh! Oh, you gotta start to look to finish him now. Back and forth we go. These two were intent to make a good fight. Push kick there to the body. Slips the punch. And again, the front kick landed there by Lee. Straight right hand, no good. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Well, no surprise to see him rinse and repeat as he continues to target that swelling upstairs. Targeting that swollen eye, getting back after him, making him work, and recognizing that, hey, this is my path. It's working, I'm gonna stay on. Final 
five seconds of round four. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. All right, that'll do it for that round. Jacasey's nose does not look like it did at the beginning of this fight. Perhaps it is broken. It is certainly pouring blood, and you got to think the referee's going to call on the ringside physician to come in and take a look. All right, well, I'm no doctor. I'm not going to diagnose a broken nose, but a huge cut on the bridge, and his opponent continues to attack it. Continues to attack it as he should. He did the damage. He was the one that landed the shot that opened up that cut. Now he's got to make his opponent pay for it. He was a bit Ready lax in the defense, Ready. and now he's got that massive cut on the bridge of his nose. Front kick to the body by Lee. Chikasi's an absolute mess. Referee might have caught an eye of the ringside position right there. They might stop this fight. Misses are entertaining. Right on the button. Beautiful job landing that head kick. Back and forth we go. Well, I'm not sure I've ever seen a referee call in a doctor for bodily damage, but I'm not sure how many more of these shots he should take. This. He can't take many more shots. I mean, he is going to go down if he takes one or two more of these body shots. He has been thoroughly beaten to the body this fight. Oh. Oh, perfect execution on the low kick. Oh! Trying to recover, but he's in a lot of trouble. Big right hand. Massive left hand. Way to hide that leg kick. Oh! And he blocks the shot there. series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the feet. I mean, when you don't check, you're going to continue to get blasted with kicks. His opponent has not deterred him from keeping on throwing those kicks. Lee's all sorts of bruised up on his body. That is going to hurt something fierce tomorrow. Under three minutes remain in this fifth and final round. All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence, and when you're... Oh! They're going at it here. Shots landing on both sides. Oh! Big right hand lands. That one landed clean. Oh, straight connection right off the gut, DC. He's in a world of trouble now. They say the are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. Well, DC kind of just playing with him at this point, right? You think he's got to go in and just get him out of there. Well, he's trying, but he gets a little bit anxious. So he starts to throw a lot of punches and not the right punches. And because he's throwing so much, he keeps missing. And by doing that, he's missing chances to end this fight. Lee's taking aim at that cut right now, DC, and you got to admire the fighter IQ, right? Might as well keep landing strikes on a target that you have damaged repeatedly throughout the fight. Just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Jacasey's eye is closing up now. Not good for him. 90 seconds to go to decide this one. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Whiffs on that offering. Right Look at the skip action that allows you to land that big knee. One minute to go in the fight. Don't stop. Keep going. Keep going. He's looking.
looking for that left hand. Not there. Jacasey goes for the takedown, unable to land. One of the better takedown artists out there. Nothing doing on that attack. Oh, almost like you saw the skin swell right away after he landed that strike. So that trainer's gonna have to bring in the end swell to try to deal with the swell because this guy is getting pieced up. Hang in there. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Good punch, Lance. Final 10 seconds of the fight. Oh. The official decision is now in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50 45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision. And still, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Mixed martial arts royalty, folks. Bruce Lee, lightweight.